Bhagavatam, sixth canto, first chapter, sixty sixty second verse. Stambhayan, Stambhayan, Atmana, Atmana, Atmanam, Atmanam, Yavat, Yavat, Satvam, Satvam, Yata. Samadatum, Samadatum, Mano, Mano, Madana Vapitam, Madana Vapitam, Stam Bayan, not Manat Manam, Stam Bayan, not Manat Manam. Yavat satvam yatashutam Yavat satvam yatashutam Nasha shaka samadhatum Nasha shaka samadhatum Mano madana vepitam Mano madana vepitam Sammayan Atmanatmanam Javut Sattam Jathasutam No Sasaka Samadhatum Muno Madano Vipitam So his mind became very much agitated, young man and he is seeing in his throne that another young man and woman embracing and kissing. It is very difficult to restrain uh, unless one is very advanced. It is not possible. Uh, that I was reciting the verse by Jamuna Charya. Jadavadhi Mama Chitta Padara Vinde, Krishna Padara Vinde, Nava Nava Dhamma Dantuma. Jadavadhi Matanari Sangame Bhavati Sushtu Nishma. Unless one is very strong in Krishna consciousness, it is very difficult to restrain the mind and the senses. Very good. Uh, here it is said, Mano Madana Vipitam. Madana means cupid or the last desire. So he was agitated, his mind was agitated by last desires. Therefore, we have to be very careful for the association. Sangha Sanjayate Kama. We develop different consciousness by particular association. Therefore, for advancing in Krishna consciousness, we must associate with the devotee. You cannot advance in Krishna consciousness uh, without being in the association of devotees. Uh, Sri Narutam Das Thakur says 
Tell them that Hindi will be in the evening. Tell them that Hindi will be evening. That is another. Yes. Between half past seven to half past eight. So, mana madana baby. Cupid is always disturbing. This material world means this madana, Cupid, whole material world. Janamaitanadi grihamedi sukham mitucham. Grihomedhi means those who have decided to prolong this body for sense and jhāna. That is going on. Everyone is trying so hard. In big, big cities they are working so hard, uh, like hogs and dogs. Not for, they say that we are hungry, we must work very hard. But that is not the fact. The real fact is that we want to enjoy sex. So far hunger is concerned, you can control, but sex desire, it is very difficult. So this material world means that maithunādi. Maithu means sex intercourse. Uh, that is the beginning of material life. Uh, you know very well how strong is sex desires in the Western countries. Even an old man going to die, he has also. Although he cannot enjoy sex, still he is trying his best by medicine, by other means, by intoxication, by stimulant. That is the only happiness of this material world. Janamaitanadi grihamedi sukham mitucham kanduyane nakarayu ribadukkhadukham Tirpanta neham kripana bahudukha bhaya kandutaiva manasīja viṣayeta dhīra. The human civilization means to create the population dhīra, not to be disturbed by sex and parts. This is human. Not that so many uh, so-called sadhus and they are now preaching openly the yoga by sex. Yoga uh, by sex. They have invented. Yoga means to find out the supreme law within oneself, within the core of core of the heart. That is real yoga. Yoga means to connect, to connect with home, with sex life. No, the sex life connection is there even in the birds, bees, ants, animals, uh, worms, everywhere. Because the whole world is going on, on sex life. Does it require any yoga system? But people have fallen so down that they have invented because people want it and these rascals, they exploit them. This is going on. So, uh, real uh, yoga system may to control the senses, not to increase or indulge. Now they are clearly advertising in the Western countries transcendental meditation. There is no restriction. There is no uh, question of faith. Uh, 
so many things, but as people want it. They want money and they advertise like that. People do not want to follow the religious principles. People do not want any restrictions. They advertise, yes, you haven't got to follow any restriction. You haven't got to believe in some religion. You simply pay me $125 and I give you a mantra and you put up something. This is right. But that is not the fact. The real fact is how to control the mind. Here we see that mana, madana, bevitam. Nasasāta samādhāru mana, madana, bevitam. Our mind is always agitated for senses. Mind is the master of the senses or the chief man, just like superintendent. Mind is dictating and the senses, the mind is dictating to go here, there, immediately the legs go. You see here, the eyes see. The mind is the center. Manasasthāṇi indriyāṇi prakṛtisthāṇi karasati. Bhagavad-gita. This living entity, Mamayi Mahāṁsa, Krishna says, all these living entities, they are mine, part and parcel. <coughs> the question may be, then why they are rotting here? He, the living entities, are part and parcel of Krishna and God. So why does he not leave with God? The immediate answer is manasasthāṇi indriyāṇi pakitisthāṇi karsa. This living entity, this conditioned soul who has come to this material world, the only reason is that they want to satisfy the senses. Manasasthāṇi indriyāṇi. Therefore, there is struggle for it. He wants to enjoy. He wants to become the enjoyer, but he is not enjoyer. That is called illusion. He is enjoyer. He cannot enjoy. Uh, Enjoyer is only Krishna. Uh, Purusha, uh, Purusha Sāsatam, in the Bhagavad-gītā it is said, Parabrahma Paramdhāma Pavitram Paramam Bhavam Purusham Sāsatam Adhyam. Krishna, uh, the Lord, is described as Purusha, and living entities are described as Prakriti. Aparayam uh, itastu vidhi me prakitiṁ parā jīva bhūta mahābhāva jayedam jhārjati Krishna is explained. There is material energy and spiritual energy. So, Jiva uh, Bhuta. Jiva Bhuta, the living entity, they have been described as Prakriti. And Prakriti means female. And Krishna has been described as Purusha. So, Purusha is the enjoyer, and Prakriti is the enjoyer. We don't think that enjoy means simply sex. No. Enjoy means subordinate, to carry out the order of the Purusha. This is the position of Krishna and ours. We are part and parcel, just like the hands and legs are mine, part and parcel of the body. So the duty of the hands and legs are that carry out my order. I say my leg carry me there. He will, it will do immediately. I, my hand just take it. I'll take it. The hand will take it. 
So this is prakriti and purusha. The purusha orders and the prakriti performs the duty. This is the idea. Not that as soon as you say prakriti purusha immediately there is question of sex. No. Uh, means, prakriti means obedient. Obedient to the purusha. Uh, this is natural way. Uh, in the Western countries they are artificially trying to become equal. But that is not possible by nature. And there is no such question, inferiority or superiority. There is no such question. Just like the begin, in the beginning, Jatoba Imani Bhutani Jan, Janmardasya Jataha. Where from these Purusha and Prakriti relationship began? Janmardasya Jataha. It has begun from this absolute truth. Therefore, absolute truth is Radha Krishna. The same Purusha and Prakriti. Uh, but a Radharani is the uh, Sarvita, Sarvita. Uh, Radharani is so expert uh, that she always attracts Krishna by her service. This is Radharani's position. Uh, Krishna is called Mother Mahan. Here in Vrindavan, there is Mother Mahan. And Radharani is called Madana Mohan Mohini. Krishna is so attractive that we are attracted by two peas and Krishna attracts two. Therefore his name is Madana Mohan. And Radharani is so great that she attracts Krishna. Therefore uh, she is the greatest. Uh, and the Vrindavan, therefore, people are accustomed to chant Radharani's name more than Krishna's name. Radhi. Yes. If you want Krishna's favor, you just try to please Radharani. So this is the way. Now, here it is a mana, madana vipitam, mind was agitated. So this mind agitation will go on unless one is attracted by a madana mohan. If we do not be attracted by the madana mohan, so long we are not attracted by madana mohan, we must be attracted by modern, modern of you. This is the problem. And unless you can control your mind, unless you are able to control your mind not to be disturbed by modern, there is no question of liberation or service. The ultimate goal of life is how to become free from this material uh, engagement, limitation of birth, death, and threefold misery. That is the perfection. They do not know what is the goal of life, what is the perfection of life. The whole world, especially in this age, they are so fallen uh, that they do not know what is the goal of life. All these big, big political parties, philosophers, scientists, there's no knowledge. They are in the dark. Uh, therefore, it is called illusion uh, in the dark. But we understand that Krishna Surya Samo. Krishna is just like sun. Krishna Surya Samo. Maya Andhaka. And this darkness means Maya. Krishna Surya Sama Maya Andhaka. Jaha Krishna Taha Nahi Maya Radhika. 
Mami is the problem. Miami is the problem. This is the problem. Uh, so it is a great sign. Krishna consciousness movement is a much scientific movement. Uh, to uh, get the whole human society from the pitch of darkness. Griham the Kupam. Griham the Kupam. The Prahlad Maharaj was asked by his father, What you have learned uh, must, uh, I mean, uh, super yeah. the best thing what you have learned. He said, Hityan the Kupam. Hityatma ghatam grihyanda kūpam vanangato ya dharimāsai ta tassādu manne asura vajra dhīnāṁ sadā samhita bhagina dhyāma sadhrā. The same thing, sadā samhita bhagina dhyāma asadhrā. The materialistic persons, they are always in anxiety. Uh, Tassadu manne asura vajra dehina. Dehina means not only human society, anyone who has accepted this material body, even small and, and big, the demigods Indra and lords uh, Brahma, such big, big, they are also living entities and the ant is also living entities. By their pious activities, they have got big, big posts as demigods, long, uh, prolonged lives, and many other facilities. Uh, but they are all living in. So these living entities means everyone has got material body. Material body means it will end. Antavasti me the ha. And the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, however strong you may be, Palwan, Antavattu you may be, ha, it will end. Uh, it, you cannot. You may run in the morning uh, three miles and, and then take very stimulating food stuff and everyone is trying to become very strong. That is good. But uh, however strong we may be, even Hiranagoshu, it is not good. To stay. Hiranyakasya will become very, very strong. He ensures that he would not die in daytime and nighttime and in the water, in the land, and the sky, not by any human being, not by any demigods, not by any animal, not by any weapon. Everything he ensured. That's all. But God's policy is so nice that all his insurance keeping aside, he killed him, not by weapon, by the nails. He forward that I may be killed by the nails. Huh. Then he thought, I shall not be killed by any animal or man. So, uh, Narasimha Dev, you cannot say it is a lion or man. Mixed. And he thought that he would not die in daytime or night time, but he was killed in the evening. Uh, it is neither day nor night. Uh, so he would not be killed in the sky, in the water, or in the land. So he was killed on the threshold. Uh, therefore, we should always remember that we cannot cheat God. He is always at least little more intelligent. So the conditioned soul, they want to cheat God. Uh, they want to deny God. They want to cheat God. But that is not possible. Uh, in spite of all your insurance and cheating policy, you must have to die. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Mithu aham. Sarvaharam. You do not accept me, that's a lie. You are collecting things for your enjoyment. 
But I shall when I shall come as dead, not only you shall be killed, but I shall take away whatever you possess. So this is intelligence. That they say there is no God. And God says, Yes, you'll see me at the time of death. But you cannot have heart death. So before meeting death, that's why Hirana Goswami. Prahlad Maharaj so many times requested, My dear father, why you are becoming a thief? By his grace you have got so much power. Just submit to him. No. There is no God. I am God. So this is called uh, demon. In spite of being punished in so many ways, uh, they will deny the existence of God. So they are, those who are not devotees, uh, they will be uh, agitated by the mind, uh, by modern, by Cupid, by so many other illusory things. But if one becomes Krishna conscious, then uh, nothing comes. Because Krishna conscious person is not in want. Uh, he is not in want. So long we be in want, our mind will be existed. Therefore, Pallad Maharaj and Bhai, the Sadas Mudvigna Dhyam, those who are always agitated, everyone is agitated. Uh, Anyone who has accepted this material body must be always agitated in mind. Sadas. Why? Asadgraha. Because he has accepted this temporary body, he must be full of anxiety. He cannot be alive. Asadgraha. Asadoma sadgama. The basic Indian sentence. Don't keep yourself in this temporary world or temporary body. Must go to the spiritual world, back to home, back. This is Vedic in this. Sadhgama, asutoma, sadhgama. Asadraha, if you accept this temporary material world, means temporary body, dehinas means jathade, kaumana jogana. We are transmigrating from one body to another. This is also true. Uh, why I shall transmigrate? If I am itāra, na hannate hannamāne sarīre, I am itāra, this is intelligent. How I can get permanent body so that I may not have to change body one after another? This is it. Uh, so, this person, there are many important words in this verse, and it can be explained for a long time. The one word is that stambhayam atmana atmanam. Just like a thief is going to steal, he also tries to control it. Uh, I am going to steal. The after effect will be that uh, I will be arrested and I will have to go to jail. And it is forbidden by Shastra and uh, human laws also, state laws. So I am going to steal. There is risk. Uh, actually, there is risk. But this <coughs> consciousness beats him. But he cannot control. This is the point. He cannot control. He knows everything, but he still he still. The same thing happens here. Here it is said, no sasāpa samādhātum. He was a brahmin, learned brahmin. He knew that I am being agitated by the sex desires. It is not good. Uh, it is not good. Jatha sutta. Sutta. Sutta means Vedic knowledge. He had sufficient education in Vedic knowledge. Jatha sutta. 